boys and girls, how are you? So for today, um, for art, you're going to be making a calabrera. Calabrera? Calabrera? No. Skeleton? It's a skeleton, but how do you say it in Spanish? Calabrera? Not sure. Jeez, my Spanish is getting rusty. No, it's not, but I just don't remember the word. But you're going to be making a skeleton mask. And this is going to be for Dia de los Muertos. So Dia de los Muertos is a day that is celebrated in Mexico on November 1st and 2nd, I believe. And in order to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, I thought it would be fun to make one of these masks. Now it does have little circles here where you can, um, well, you can punch little holes in there. Do I have my hole punch? So if you have one of these and you want to, you can hole punch two little holes here, put a string around it, and you can put it on like a mask. I included a popsicle stick so that when you're done, you can just tape it to the bottom, and then you can just use that as a mask instead of putting it on. So I just thought that might be a little easier for you. Now we are going to be painting today, so make sure you get your watercolor paints, your brush, and your water. Now, like I was saying, uh, Dia de los Muertos is celebrated in Mexico, November 1st and 2nd, and it's a day where uh, people will celebrate, not celebrate, but honor those that have passed away in their family. So they will create like an altar uh, made out of, you know, sometimes I even cardboard, that's usually what we do in the school. And you would put little offerings like flowers and pan dulce and things like that. Um, I thought today would be fun to do one of these. Now I did include a song and a book for you to read and learn a little bit more about Dia de los Muertos. So in case you don't celebrate or you've never heard of Dia de los Muertos, you can learn a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do our activity. And then you can go ahead and do number one and two. One will be, I think, the song, and two is the story. And then three, of course, is the activity. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the popsicle stick. Now, I already did that. So just take it out of the paper so that we can work around it. And then we're going to go ahead and paint all of the little details in the mask, okay? Now, the main part of the skull, so the background, we're going to leave it white, okay? But we are going to paint all the little details in our mask. Okay, so very carefully, just paint everything. You can paint it whatever color you want. You do not need to paint it like mine, okay? I think I'm just going to show you what it looks like when I'm all done. But again, just paint it all with whatever color and however you want. And then we're going to cut the skull out or the mask out so that we can use it as a um, mask. Alrighty, so this is what my sugar skull looks like. I just went ahead and color all of the little um, details in the mask. Okay, but I left the background or the skull itself in white. Okay, so again, color all the little details with your watercolor paint, but leave the background white. Leave it to dry, and once it's all dry, we're going to cut the outline and the eyes. Now, you might need a little help for the eyes since um, it's a circle inside what we want to cut. So ask your parents for help. If you think you can do it, go ahead and do that. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave this to dry for a little bit and once it's done drying, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut it and make it into a mask. Alrighty, so let me show you what it looks like. I cut around the sugar skull as well as the two um, circles for the eyes so that you can hold it in front of your face as a mask. 
Now, if you want to, like I said, there are two little circles right here that you can punch a hole and then put a string around it to hold it as a mask. Now, I didn't want to do that. I thought this was easier for me just because I did include the popsicle stick. But if you want to, you can do it the other way. I hope you like this activity and make sure you listen to the story and the book. Now, if your parents do celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can actually ask your parents about Dia de los Muertos if they celebrate it so that they can tell you a little bit more about it so that you understand it a little bit more. So I hope you like this activity. It was really simple. Okay, not a lot to do, but I thought it would be a fun way to introduce uh, something that is done in a different culture than what we do here in the U.S. Even though here in California, a lot of people do celebrate Dia de los Muertos, but I don't think it's as big of a celebration as it is in Mexico. So go ahead and ask your parents if they celebrate it to give you more information about it. And um, if not, learn more about it through the book and the song. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye.